afternoon this is Chris Brecher with the simpler stocks free video for July 5th 2016 as you can see it's about 30 minutes before the bell uh, today was all about uh, the market consolidating its gains but it's like a super tanker is if it starts going up it just stays up and then just has less moves up so what you're seeing on here is this is typical rally from an oversold big rally and just tiny rallies all the way up until finally maybe it's sort of like a balloon going up in the uh, atmosphere is it just goes up slower and slower until it starts falling back down but for now we're right up against the ATR trailing stop on a daily getting overbought finally and right at resistance making the Brexit uh, really testing the Brexit highs so that's where we are right now in fact to see right now the futures are up about 575 NASDAQ, Immuta reacts up 25. Russell has been underperforming up 440. Bonds up another almost two points. And uh, we'll get into that again about don't watch the bonds with the market. That was something that might have worked last year, but it doesn't work now. Uh, crude oil up 86 cents. Gold up 22. You have the advanced declines. Uh, about 900 advanced, uh, about 810 more than the uh, declines. Transport's up 78, having a pretty good day. VIX getting hit again. Nike getting hit again. So where do we go from here? Number one, weekly chart. Now, this is what's going to drive me nuts. There are a lot of people that are going to see this new peak and see the negative divergence and say, oh, that means we go down. There are a couple of things you're missing on this. Number one, negative divergence is just one tool in the arsenal. If it's over everything else or it's not rolling over, I'm not going to trust it yet. That's number one. It could be that it's just l selling off to actually have ammunition to have another leg up. I mean, that's a totally opposite scenario, but just to give you an idea on that. That's number one in here. Number two in here is look at the ESs. And like I said, overbought in here. There's no way I'd buy here. If we go to a new high, so be it. It's going to do it without me. But this is all about probabilities. And when I do this job and I try to teach everybody, it's probabilities. And when we're down here, the probability is not to short in the hole. When it's up here, the probability is not to buy up here. So I'm going to be very careful in this area. Usually when you get to this kind of zone, what you do is you look for things that all of a sudden are rolling over because you're up near resistance. So there are certain things that are going to underperform. That's why the advanced decline, if I put that up here, and instead of what I usually do is I show the advanced decline. Well, it, it's hard to show on here. But basically what's happening is the advanced decline. Well, you could do it on a daily chart. Usually I show it on a, a, a two-minute chart, just an intraday idea. But this gives you a good idea too. The first rally was 2,000 advancers. Second rally, 2,000. Well, actually it was right here after Brexit. 2,000. 2,000, 1,500, 882. See how the breadth is slowly weakening. So what happens is you're getting stocks within that that obviously are underperforming the market. So I'm going to be looking for those overnight. That's what we do in the premium video and also in the newsletter and in the email alerts. I try to find different ideas in here. So if you look in here and tie it back up, put the ESs daily. Then put the ESs and link it up. Look at a 78. And what you're going to see is if I take off all the indicators in here, except the ATR trailing stop and the short-term moving averages, gives you a better picture that we're over everything. And I know this is something we harp on the uh, premium side all the time, that if you see this, every sell-off gets oversold in an uptrend. We're not below anything. Now contrast that if you go back in here and go 90 day. And now what I want you to do is go back here. We're going to zoom out. Now you can see that every rally under the ATR trailing stop created overbought in a downtrend. But once this signature changed, you had to change direction. Now if it gets under here, we're going to have another chance again. But we just don't have that yet. So that's what we're going to be watching in here. Just so you know, on the premium side, a lot of people ask what we show in here. This is simpler stocks. In here, we have the chat room. The chat room is open from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. New York. It's a, uh, 
uh, live chat. I'm on it the whole time talking or answering questions or coming up with ideas in there. Premium videos, a lot more uh, intense than what you're uh, watching now. Now it's only four or five minutes. That's Those are usually 20. We have a forum that's a message board type of give and take. We have a meetup where every week, uh, really about averages every 10 days, I do like a, a, a training class, usually the last hour of the day. Uh, I've had it on the ATR trailing stop, had it on MACDs, reviewing the basics, the power of pin plays. They then go into this area. And they're about an hour long, and they're all included in your membership. Then you have the email alerts, stock trades and chart ideas. Usually post about six a night. Index and futures charts usually six a night. Unusual option activity. I only post when I see something that really looks actionable. Today we did one in COG. Now another thing in here that I just found out in here is you can go in here if I log out and we can go in here seven dollar trial membership and you get 30 day trial for seven dollars start my trial but this is pretty neat morning chat room it shows everything you get with this very neat in there I really am excited that this page is in there so as you see in here seven dollars for 30 days so I hope you've enjoyed this video I have a great 4th of July holiday if you're in the U.S. Have a great 4th of July three-day weekend if you're not. So have a great uh, time, and I'll be back with you Tuesday.